The Secret History of 9-11 is directed by Terence McKenna. It is a TV movie documentary produced and released by the Canadian Broadcasting Company. This documentary highlights years of important events that led up to the September 11, 2001 terror attacks that took place at the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City, New York, the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Now, I did research on this part, and I did not find anything to support what I'm about to say, but I believe this documentary is narrated by ABC News' David Muir. At least, that's who it sounds like it is narrating this film. Uh, like I said, I don't have anything to back that up. Uh, I didn't find on the documentary itself, it doesn't say who narrated it, but that's who it sounds like, and so I'm just going to go with that. If that's wrong, then I will correct that later. Uh, this film is not rated, but I would not show this to children. I would say 18 years of age and older. This film's runtime is 1 hour and 30 minutes. So this is a documentary film that takes us through the years leading up to 9-11. It starts out with the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center Towers in New York City. It shows how lack of sharing of intelligence between agencies such as the CIA and FBI played a critical part in the lead up to the attacks and how the hijackers slipped through customs and airport security so easily. One of the main people trying to get something done about the rising terrorist faction of Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden was Richard Clark. It takes us through all sides of 9-11, the planes, the FAA, the military, the air traffic controllers, the president in Florida, on board Air Force One, and in Washington, D.C. at the White House. The documentary takes us to New York, Washington, and Pennsylvania, and to the aftermath of 9-11. This film is shot like a documentary, not like a feature film. It includes video from the government, news outlets, in and around the president, and elsewhere. This documentary is very informative, yet very, very scary. It's an eye-opener that shows us how much our intelligence communities fail to communicate and to keep America safe. All in all, as far as history goes, uh, this is a great-looking documentary film. Um, it's one of my favorites uh, just because I'm, I'm a history guy. I like history. I don't watch it a lot, but I watch it sometimes, and it's just, it's just incredible at all these events that took place uh, before these terrible attacks happened and one thing that just blows my mind is we had so many wasted opportunities to kill bin laden and to stop al-qaeda and we failed to do so and that led up to tuesday september 11th 2001 and what happened that day and it's so sad that uh, three thousand plus people had to lose their lives before this was taken seriously. I mean, it took an event like that to say, hey, yeah, th this Al-Qaeda network, th I mean, these these guys are serious. They, they want to kill us. They want to hurt us. So, yeah. Anyway, so let's talk about my final grade for this film. My final grade for the film, it gets an A for great research and great presentation of the facts and for great video from the news stations, filmmakers, and government officials. If you would please all join me in a moment of silence as we remember those whose lives were lost on September 11th, 2001. So please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you very much. So that's my review for this video, guys. I thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go down to the bottom, click the subscribe button, and go ahead and hit the notification bell as well so you'll know when I post a new document, uh, sorry, a new video. <laughs> um, give me some great comments. Be sure to like and share this video as well. As always, guys, take care. I love you. God bless. And as always, God bless the United States of America. Bye-bye.